What's up everyone? My name is Carlos, aka Rattlehead in the fighting game community. And uh, this video is going to be about 2x KO, which I got my hands on the game now. And so I wanted to provide some feedback as far as accessibility. So we will be focusing mainly on uh, general ideas about how we can make this game more accessible. Uh, so if by any chance any developers at Riot Games see this, um, I just want to give a little background of uh, where I come from. I'm a uh, competitive uh, fighting game player, well, a former competitive fighting game player, uh, but I have experience in competing in various uh, titles, mainly NRS titles. And uh, my latest work uh, is actually Mortal Kombat 1. I am an accessibility consultant for Mortal Kombat 1, and uh, we implemented a lot of the uh, a lot of features that made the game fully accessible, specifically for blind players. Uh, so. We will be talking about things that uh, will make it accessible for us, such as uh, a screen reader or text-to-speech feature, uh, and additional sound cues and overall sound design. Is you know to showcase how can two uh, XKO can be uh, accessible for for blind players. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, visually impaired and blind players who are excited about this game, and so I just want to provide. Uh, you know, visual feedback and of course uh, our audio feedback as well so that we are able to uh, hopefully communicate the message that we want this game to be as accessible as possible because the game is actually pretty fun. Um, so with that said, uh, we're going to jump right into it and uh, we'll see you guys around uh, with 2x KO with uh, uh, showing accessibility examples using Mortal Kombat 1. Hello and welcome to my discussion of accessibility for 2XKO. Uh, we are currently on the character select screen, so this is a perfect area to begin talking about one of the main things that will make a fighting game accessible for blind players. As you know, in order for you to navigate the game, you have to know what menus you're going through. Uh, what's you know, the settings the you know the main screen you know uh, the the training menus uh, when you go to the training and you want to learn the moves list and all of that so how do blind players do that well we use this thing called a screen reader which allows us to be able to hear as we're browsing each section of the game where it says fight uh, casual private uh, training whatever the case may be and that uh, same thing applies to the character select screen as well. If I browse, I want to know what uh, character is being focused uh, as I'm as I'm browsing. And so, to kind of showcase that, I'm going to start by first kind of giving you a little overview of how Mortal Kombat One implemented a text to speech or a screen reader feature in the game, so that we're able to navigate the the, the, the character select screen, uh, choose the stage or just, you know, navigate the game overall. If I want to go to their settings and change some things here and there, I modify my buttons or do whatever. There is an audio feature going on the whole time that's letting me know what's happening on the screen. So let's check that real quick before I want to showcase how that can be implemented in 2XKO. Reptile, Sub-Zero, Lime, Scorpion, Smoke, Rain, Tanya, Sindel, Raiko, Raiden, Lucon, Johnny Cage, Sub Zero, Reptile, Scorpion, Reptile, Sub Zero, Sub -Zero. Lucon, A button select, Protector choose Camille, Para, Cross buttons, Janet Cage, Chameleon, Cross button, Cross, Jax, Chameleon, Janet Cage, Darius, Serena, Cyrax, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Sub Zero, Kung Lao, Kung Lao. Treasure Chamber, Smelter on. Living Forest. Hanging Gardens. Cage Mansion. Wuxi Academy. Target and Colony. The Great Hall. The Flesh Pits. Ying Fortress. Done. L1 button and R1 button. Change variation. Cross button select. Snow. L1 button and R1 button. Change. Done. Ying Fortress. Okay, now that you have a general idea of what we mean as far as the screen reader goes this is a good example to kind of showcase that so as the game stands right now which by the way it's understandable that this game is it's an extremely early build so i'm sure that they 
will implement something that's going to help us out in that regard. I, I understand that they are open to suggestions. Uh, Riot Games is open to accessibility feedback. So I wanted to put this together so that we can, you know, get some visual as well as audio feedback and of, of what, what, what we would need as, as blind players. So in the character select screen, as you saw in Mortal Kombat 1, uh, it was telling me the characters before even picking them as I was browsing. But here, I have no idea, you know, um, because it's not reading anything. However, what I do like is that you did the same thing as uh, MK, uh, MK has always done, uh, where if I pick a character, Darius. it tells me who the character is with the announcer, through the announcer, right? Uh, that's Darius, but you know, so I want to go back because maybe I don't, I don't want that character. But I'm looking for, let's say, I'm looking for Echo. Echo! Uh, there we go. I, by chance, I found him, right? And that's 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 Echo, right? Uh, but if I don't want Echo, Yasuo! Yasuo is another one too. So, you know, uh, that's that's one cool thing that that the game uh, uh, allows to do that. But without the screen reader, we don't know what which character it is, right? Echo! So. And not only that, but what happens is Bomb. if I pick this character or Darius. Elawi. I actually like Elawi too. So if I pick Elawi on other other menus pop up, right? But nothing's being read. So whatever it is, what pops on the screen, the, the, the text to speech or screen reader will read out loud what's happening so that way I'm able to, you know, pick whatever whatever it is i think this is the skins um, i don't even i don't even know honestly uh and so if i press x again yeah there's another menu and there's you know there's nothing to read right now but i hope that this is something that 2xko can implement uh for playstation they you know the, the console does have a screen reader xbox has a screen reader and um blind pc players also have uh, screen readers that are in in you know through windows and so maybe hopefully that's another way that's a, that's how pretty much uh netherrealm studios implemented the, the the screen reader in in the game is by taking the default uh text-to-speech that is uh, offered in the consoles or or pc and the game recognizes them and it uses it so that we're able to navigate the games so that's very important now what i want to talk about next is uh gameplay so with that said, I'm going to pick my characters here. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. You select. Pick that and Darius. Okay. Bomb. You select. Choose your destination. And just to prove the point even further, as you saw in the MK1 uh, uh, section, I was browsing. The stages, right? And uh, it was telling me each stage as I was moving around. And even the announcer says it after I picked the stage, right? Uh, so, but the screen reader is doing the, the most of the work without having me having to ask, oh, what does it say on the screen? Because the screen reader is already telling me that. So, anyway, with that said, I'm gonna pick the stage and I'll see you guys in the training room. All right. Okay, so here we are in the training mode um i memorized how to get to it actually so uh in case you do get the game and you're you're blind what you do is when the first game loads at first uh you know you you, you click x to go to fight then you press r1 twice and then you press x and that takes you uh to this section where you you press either left or right because that way you pick which side of the stage you're gonna practice on and then you go and pick your characters uh anyway so here we go. The overall sound design um, basically is pretty good because I can tell that I'm on the left side right now. And of course I'm kind of far away from my opponent on purpose so I, I, I want to hit them right now, right? And if I jump over them, now I'm on the right side. Right? So if I want to put him uh, if I want to put myself on the left on the right left side and when I I, I just did a throw and so now my opponent is on the right side and I'm on the left side so the the general um, panning as we call it shout outs to my audio people out there they know what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, 
uh, the, the panning in this game is pretty good. I will say that it needs, I would say, more separation because it is pretty, uh, a little, a little bit too, not compressed, but more like, um, the, the characters don't space out enough. Like, you know, even if I'm full screen, I think I might be full screen. Um, it still sounds like I'm still like, you know, like almost in the middle of the screen, even though like, you know, I might be full screen. So, uh, I don't know if that's something that could be changed. Cause I understand that once you already coded the audio, the way it is, there's no turning back from that. Right. Uh, but generally speaking the game is isn't isn't uh in, in stereo um, the music is uh, obviously default right now it's kind of loud right but when you turn it down you should be able to hear it but right now i'm on the right side yeah that's me pushing my buttons on the right side right you know but i'm gonna want to put them on the left side now so the sound design you know oh, like overall the stereo panning is really awesome I actually got to check this out at EVO, uh, and uh, yeah, it sounds great. Um, okay, so now, okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is movement. Um, you know, that's like the crucial part of uh, fighting games, right? Um, so the first thing I noticed right away is that there is a sound when you dash backwards or forwards. So if I want to dash back, You know, I want to dash forward. Right? You know, there's a sound. And that's cool. I like that. You know, that the fact there is a, uh, there's sounds that allow, you know, that lets me know that I'm moving across the screen. Dashing, right? Uh, there's also a sound for jumping, but it is, I will, uh, right away I want to point it out. It's very subtle and it just sounds like, uh, you know, it sounds like it's dashing as well, even though I know it's jumping, right? But it just sounds like they're dashing. So, um, in saying that, um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about is walking. Look, I'm just holding back. Even with the music loud, you should be able to hear footsteps from the characters. Uh, you know, walking back and forth. Uh, because, <clears throat> believe it or not, uh, but, uh, blind players actually do play footsies using sound, sound, uh, using audio only. Uh, as a matter of fact, our uh, blind FGC Central Showdown uh, first place winner is actually considered the best footsie player in in the entire you know blind fighting game community. So you know we so we do have people that play fighting uh, footsies because they can hear the footsteps of the characters you know walking back and forth, walking back and forth, you know waiting to when your opponent you know whips a button you know will dash in and. In, 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 you know, and we punish them or whatever. Uh, but right now, nothing. There's no sounds for walking back and forth. Uh, <clears throat> and so, in saying that, um, I wanna I wanna showcase what uh, Netherum Studios and uh, Capcom uh, did with their, um, you know, with, with the movement of, of of the of the fighters. That you can actually hear footsteps. You can hear clearly when they jump. Uh, and uh, when they dash as well, um, but thankfully, so far, you can hear when they dash, and you can sort of hear when they jump, because what Netherrealm Studios does, or and, and Capcom, is you hear like a little grunt, and you hear the footsteps when they land on the ground. You know, they they grunt, boom, footsteps, jump, boom, footsteps, right? But you don't have that sound here. You just hear this little little sound and that's it you know so let's check out how uh, uh, NRS does it with their movement sound design Okay, now that we checked that, um, let's talk about, uh, you know, the actual gameplay. Uh, I do want to say that, of course, this is my uh, my first time actually playing the game officially. Um, and uh, I don't know any, like, high-level stuff yet. Uh, but just know that, you know, we're, in this channel, we're, we're, we're proud about 
showcasing high level gameplay but right now we're not doing that so the thing about it is that the from what i've noticed is that you can tell when it's a light all right that's a light hit this is a medium this is a heavy so i do like the distinction huh? all right um you know so light medium heavy and then you know the the, the, the special move or whatever all right so certain certain sounds have heavy impact um um, however, I did hear from other players that uh, blocking and, and and hitting sounds kind of similar. So maybe think of sounds that, you know, sound different when they get hit versus when they get blocked. Uh, so that way, you know, you're able to tell when your opponent is blocking your attacks versus when they get hit, right? Obviously, when they get hit, they're going to grunt. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Yeah, I guess sometimes. Ah, there we go. So, you know, so that's something that maybe take a look into. It. Yeah, the, the, the sound team can look into. It's making the hit sounds more distinguished between uh, when they hits and when they block it. Um, you know, uh, so that's 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 an important feature uh, that that could be implemented. Um, what else? Okay, so the game sounds pretty good. Um, the, the the another thing that I would I would suggest is if this game has any type of meter system, uh, like building bar for and maybe uh, enhanced special moves or maybe just uh, maybe I don't know if you have to build bar to do like uh, to tag your 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 your, uh, your partner, but. Good. You know, uh, I don't know if there's a meter for that. But anyway, if this game has any meter system, it would be cool to have any sound cues to let you know when you build the meter, when the meters, uh, you know, one bar is full, the second bar is full, the third bar is full, you know. Uh, so that way you're able to keep, I don't know how many bars of meter this game has, if any. Uh, so that's that's another thing that, uh, you know, that could be implemented in this game. Okay, so let's talk about specific audio cues for certain situations during the fight one thing that i i did i do appreciate that um mortal kombat and street fighter came up with is this thing called a uh distance between fighters uh M mortal kombat called it distance between fighters but what it and what it is is basically if i'm further away from my opponent there is a like sort of like a geiger counter sound that it, it clicks slower the, the 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 further away i'm from my opponent and the closer i get to my opponent that that uh geiger counter ramps up wraps up it gets faster you know like the clicks get faster uh so that way you're able to tell the distance between you and your opponent uh so uh that will be something good for you know for for this game especially in how fast everything moves so it'll be good to kind of have something like that and of course make the sound that fits the game aesthetic as well like uh, Netherrealm Studios uh, sound team is good about making their sounds fit the game. I think that's 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 really awesome for them to do that. Uh, so maybe add something like that. So for you for y'all to really uh, hopefully understand it if you're new to this, I'm going to kind of show that uh, that that uh, that feature through Mortal Kombat One. So let's check out what the uh, uh, distance between fighters sound like. So there you go. So notice how it applied to anything that happened in the game, whether they were dashing, right? Or where they were just kind of walking back and forth or when they jump, you know, when they jump uh, towards or away, uh, that uh, that uh, uh, distance between fighters sound ramped up or slowed down depending on the situation. So that, that will be something really good to implement. Um, so that will be mainly for movement. 
Okay, so another thing that I want to cover real quick um, is um, and I'm trying to push them to the corner. The reason why is because so, and again, this is something make up your own sound for it because I'm just showcasing what uh, NRS created. But what it is is if we are in the corner, both of us, right? You know, opponent and uh, and, uh, and 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 your character. If we're if we're both in the corner. What happens is there is a what they call end of a fight line sound cue that lets you know that we're on the edge of the stage. And so for the defensive character, obviously, if you hear that sound, that means you got to think of either get, you know, something to get out of the corner or maybe do something to put your, your opponent in the corner. So, that you know, the corner game begins right from an offensive standpoint, but also the offensive player realizes that, hey, I got my opponent in the corner now because I hear the sound. That means I can do start doing corner setups. I can start doing, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, maybe do meaties, right? Uh, or, uh, you know, like, or uh, maybe break their armor, whatever, whatever the mechanics is, right? And so, or, or even specific co corner combos, right? That you can't do, you know, you can't do uh, mid screen. So there is a sound for that, and it happens either on the left or right side of the screen. And when that happens, uh, it's the, the the sound seems to. It's like like you're approaching the sound as the fight you know is 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 going is going on. So let's check out what the end of the fight line sounds like. There we go. So that's basically just a quick demonstration of what that that would be like if we, you know, we're fighting in the corner or whatever, and uh, that sound, you know, comes up, uh, and uh, you know, you're basically fighting according to which area of the stage you're located, right? So that's the end of the fight line. It's really, it's a really good idea, um, especially this game would definitely benefit from it because again, going back to kind of like the panning of this game, it's not exactly. Uh, uh, you know, you can't really tell if both opponents are in the corner fully, uh, but that sound will really help to really home that in. Like, hey, you guys are in the corner. Do your thing in the corner, right? Um, so that's that's another thing too. So I just want to emphasize how important the screen reader really means to us because if we have something that reads to us, everything on what that that's popping up. I can hear, for example, if I press pause, right? Um, you know, if I move the cursor, which I did up and then I went down, uh, there's nothing reading it back to us. And on top of that, and again, this is this is a, an early, uh, uh, you know, beta or alpha version. There's not even clicks. Yeah, what's clicking are my buttons right now. <laughs> but there's no clicks in the game, you know, when, when you browse the, the, the game itself or you go through the menus. And without a screen reader, I'm not able to learn the special moves or, you know, for the, for the characters. So I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, right now, I'm just pressing the basic buttons. Um, but this is where the screen reader will be extremely important uh, because we're going to be able to learn this game along with everybody else. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do want to uh, talk about uh, another thing that would benefit uh, 2XKO is to give us the ability to uh, basically play around with, this, with the sound scheme of the game. Uh, give us different uh, sound sliders. This is something that Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat did where in the settings menu, the ha we have the different toggles where we can uh, uh, increase the, the footsteps, the character movement. We can increase the, the, the prox uh, proximity fighters, uh, sound cue, uh, the... the you know the corner sounds you can adjust all of those things so that way the players can customize it to their liking so just to drive home the importance of a screen reader i just wanted to kind of come back to this real quick and then right away we're jumping into how nrs actually has their sound system or sound scheme uh, uh pretty much open to uh anyone to adjust the different settings so the screen reader is this visual 
enable screen reading, text-to-speech, customize your audio mix, and more. Screen reader. Toggle whether on-screen text for menus is read. On. There we go. Screen reader and so volume. you can adjust the volume. Adjust the vo you can adjust speed. the speed. Adjust right the now, speed I have it kind of slow for the sake of this video. Eight, nine, one, one, screen reader volume. Adjust the volume of the screen reader. This will be my default setting for me. Screen right, but let's eight, bring it back. 75%. 70%. Left and right okay. button. Okay. Uh, and so, screen reader what? Voice. Select a voice for you the screen You can even reader. pick a voice. Type 1. Left and right button. Change. Up and down button. Navigate. Circle button back. So this is the screen reader, right? right anyway, so Change. what NRS did Keyboard is they have uh, all the music. different audio Announcer. that you can play with. Music. Obviously, the music, cinema. the cinema, Announcer. the announce, you can choose the announcer, ambience. right? The ambience the uh, for the stages. The di you can adjust the dialogue, effects, effects. Detailed audio effects. Uh, fighter movement. What I like about it's what like they did, so, okay, so dialogue. here's where it starts. Effects. like um, Just 100%. 100%. 100%. All of dialogue. the different hits, right? Adjust like you can effects. even hear the, the hit adjust sounds the of, of all like sound you can adjust this. Not 80. 45 you can adjust that. One. Detailed audio effects. You can adjust 50 percent. De 50 percent. The hits, right? You can Fire adjust adjust the, the volume movement. of player. Not 85 percent. I have it at 80, 85 percent. Right this is this this section right here. Left is what right allows button. us to hear Change. the footsteps, the dashing, the you know, the Navigate. jumping, uh, all back. of the different basic, uh, you know, movement that the characters do during the fights. Uh, so that's why the suggestion of having that implemented in 2XKO. Vocalization. 50%. You can even adjust Left the right different, uh, the voices. Gameplay modifier. 50, 50%. Gameplay modifier. Adjust the volume of environmental dangers. Special moves. It's 50 percent. You can right even button. adjust the special Change. moves sounds. Environmental detail. 90 90 percent. Fight HUD. Adjust the volume of important gameplay events like meter and fatal blow. 85 percent. Ah, yeah, this is Left important. Right so, the, uh, basically, 85 It allows us for Left us right to know button. whenever at 30 percent a, 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 a sound will come up Navigate. to let us know that Circle in this game back. there's a fatal blow mechanic. Uh, it also allows us to hear whenever we build meter throughout the fight, whether I have built one bar of meter, two bars of meter, three bars of meter. Uh, there's a little sound cue to indicate that that's 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 happened. Also, the cameos says this is also a team-based uh, fighting game. Uh, when the cameos uh, is ready to be used, you can hear a little uh, sound cue that lets you know your 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 meter, your cameo meter is ready to be used again. Extra audio feed, 70 percent. This is where you can adjust right the right specific button. ones that Change. I showcased, the, like the uh, proximity, Circle uh, 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 the distance between falls. fighters. Seventy percent. You can adjust it here. Health meter, adjust the volume of sound. <laughs> 85%. This is a specific right uh, sound to Mortal Change. Kombat that indicates that button. you have Navigate. Uh, 75% uh, health Triangle remaining, 50% health remaining, uh, and then of course you have the 30% with the fatal blow sound, and then the 25% uh, health uh, remaining. So it's just so you can generally keep up with the how many, how much uh, health you have or your opponent has. And the fight line. This is the end of fight the side of line that, that a, a fight, is at the end fight of line that 50%. we we heard. Left and right button. Change. 50%. My default is at 50%, right but button. you can crank it up all the way up. 100, 100%. Left and right button. And I Change. have the music up to up the max on purpose, so you can hear Navigate. how it, this cuts Circle to the music, back. right? 65%. 55%. 50%. Ducking. Adjust the volume of sounds that play when a character ducks and stands up. 50%. And you can even hear the screen reader explain what these sounds are. So blocking. this will be something cool adjust that I hope that 2XKO would allow us to have blocking. is be able adjust to customize of all of the different sound sliders so that way we can uh, adjust this Left for right ourselves. Change. But anyway, up and down that is it. Uh, I hope uh, Riot back. Games Triangle gets an evolves. idea of how to implement some of these accessibility features. If uh, anybody in the team is interested in uh, collaborating, getting together, uh, so we can, you know, uh, do this in person. Uh, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, you know, if not, then definitely we do appreciate the feedback that has been uh, being collected. Uh, I know that other fellow blind players are reaching out to to Riot Games and the different developers to implement accessibility features. And so these are just ideas uh, right now because 
uh, Mortal Kombat is definitely the most accessible fighting game right now for blind players. And uh, next to it is Street Fighter. Uh, the only thing that Street Fighter needs is a screen reader. And it's pretty much going to be on par with Mortal Kombat. But as far as accessibility goes, Mortal Kombat right now is, is, uh, uh, has set the standard for f future fighting games. Uh, so with that said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope these ideas reach to the developers. And, and if you are a fellow blind player, please feel free to uh, you know, make comments and suggestions or things that I missed, of course. Uh, and, uh, in, and if... If it's okay to uh, ask, uh, please share it, you know, with the de with the devs, uh, so that they, they they can see that we are out here trying to provide ideas and feedback for accessibility uh, and everything. So uh, again, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good one. This is Rattlehead, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>